YouTube peeps. I didn't do a video last week because I was in Idaho visiting a dear friend of mine and because I went on a little vacay, I guess. Sweet Pea's doing really good lately. I just wanted to share another video of hay soaking. So I decided it's easier to do two um, bags instead of one big bag so we'll see how easy it is to pull this up as you can see the water is really nasty and someone said that I should maybe it didn't make it any easier somebody said that I should use um I'm gonna pull it this way second thought we need gloves hopefully this doesn't shock the camera too bad we're going back in the dark because I need to get some gloves because it is heavy. So, even though I split it, it's still really, really heavy. Someone said I should use a hay steamer. The problem is, those are really, really spindy. Hopefully that doesn't shock the camera too bad going out into the sunlight again. So, here's my bags. Nasty hay all the sugars, I can't even believe it. There's Miss P. Hang him up right here and let him drain. I have a French dit, a uh, French drain installed right here, so it's kind of like the drain ditch that goes out to the outside. Hopefully that'll hold. You can see it's draining. You gotta let it drain so that the water drains out of it and then we'll feed it later on today. And of course the new hay rack is not going to hold very good. The new hay bag isn't going to. But what is gross and you just don't even realize there's so much, I don't know, the sugar when it soaks out of hay is like coffee. I mean, you can see, it's a very, it's like a coffee color. And that was just two hay bags. So I'm thinking that hay had a lot of sugar in it, which was last year's hay. So next year, or this year, I might try and find something it doesn't have so much sugar in it. But so I'm going to tie those up and let them drain. But as you can see, that is just some nasty stuff. It's very dark. I guess I'm going to get a really good workout if I'm doing this for Sweet Pea every other day. I don't even know if I can get that tipped. Put it on the hill thinking it would be easy. There it goes. Probably kill all the grass right there. I don't know guess we're not supposed to dump it but like that but in an article I read so anyways so we'll hang those up hi goat hi goat miss sage 
The other thing I wanted to do a video about was this new oil that I'm using, that I'm trying. I am not doing the soy oil anymore. I am doing the cold press Camlina oil. And Sweet Pea has been doing so much better on it. Sage, stop chewing on me. And Sweet Pea's been doing so much better on it. The problem is this little one gallon was $60, which is really expensive. But she seems to be doing better on it, and there's no known side effects for Camlene oil. So, um, cold-pressed Camlene oil. Camlina or Camlina. I don't know how you say it. I say Camlina, but that's just my accent, so I don't know. But there's, I did all the research on it, and there's no known side effects, whereas soybean oil was... Um, linked to leaky gut syndrome. So I quit using that. The other thing that I've been using, and I even drink this in some coconut milk every day, is this. And it's the combination of this MCT oil and that and our MSM and our are you all right, goat? And our Magox, magnesium oxide, which is a pink, is working really well. And I read a lot, too, about how they say you don't even need to do that, but Sweet Pea looks forward to it, and I like her to get the vitamin E for her muscles. And I'm also giving her vitamin E again. I had moved away from giving her these, and I went back and included these back in there. So now her vitamin E has been upped, and through the MCT oil, the Camlene oil, and the vitamin, T, vitamin E tablet. So she's getting a really good dose of vitamin E, and I noticed that we haven't had any symptoms in a very long time from the last episode that we had. And so I'm thinking the combination is working. You guys don't need to chew on twine. No. So, Miss P is in there enjoying her morning hay. I threw her just a little flake. But she seems to be looking better and feeling better and doing better. So I'm really happy. Don't eat her hay. So I'm really happy. I'm really happy you're feeling better. So I'm going to go finish some other projects and I'm going to end that video here. Love your horses and your goats.